Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. We're going to be looking at the mutual energies between you, how you feel about each other, and we'll see what we get. Keep in mind that uh, every reading will not resonate for you. I'm reading for the Libra Collective, so take what resonates for your particular situation and leave the rest. I also want to quickly shout out my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, which is here on the corner. I don't talk about it much, so every now and then I have to kind of remind myself to give it a shout out. <laughs> uh, it's a book all about how you can interpret the tarot for love in your own readings. It's available on Amazon with Prime Shipping, so if you want to give that a little look-see, it's in the description box. All right, Libra, let's see. What do we need to know about you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time or in the near future? For Libra, Spirit, just messages, please. For Libra, what's going on between Libra and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on? So currently, the mutual energies between you, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. On your side, we have the Two of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Okay. On their side, we have the Chariot, Cancer energy there, with the Moon, Pisces energy. Interesting. I feel like you're both mirroring each other a little bit you're unsure about something here or are debating and they're lacking clarity as well overall energy at the bottom of the deck the wheel of fortune so things in motion events unfolding here i'm going to clarify all of these but first let's get some energies down here what does Libra need to know about this connection? Tell me more, Spirit, about the energies here in this connection between Libra and this other person. What do we need to know about their energies? Tied up. So someone is trapped, stuck, or burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. Okay, what else? Let me move these down. What else do we need to know for this connection spirit? Between Libra and this other person. Restoring balance. Okay, so whatever this is, someone is wanting to resolve it. Whatever issue or obstacle exists. Resolution, harmony, stability, balance is being restored. Let me get one more. And then we will start clarifying here. Libra, if this does resonate for you and you find that a lot of it is your story, uh, please consider hitting that like button or leaving me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this connection? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you and this person, I feel, are um, divided in a way. Like there's, there could be a separation already here. Or someone has withdrawn in the connection. This could be you. This could be your person. There's a bit of a distance there. So let's get down to the mutual energies here and get a little bit more clarity. Tell me more for Libra, Spirit. Now Libra, you are thinking that this is a special connection. You have the Two of Cups on your end here. And by the way, just because I say it's on your side does not mean that the energies cannot be flipped. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. but. For the sake of this reading, the left side here is you. So the Two of Cups, soulmate energy, someone that really gets you, someone that you feel a strong attachment to, 
you see eye to eye with each other but i feel like the two of pentacles also says there's a bit of a uncertainty there a bit of a indecisive energy here we'll get down to that your person i feel is wanting to make some sort of a move with the chariot but the moon is telling me that they don't really know everything they're probably i'm thinking like going into the unknown here but let's start with the mutual energy seven of pentacles let's start with this actually let's start with the wheel of fortune because it's the overall energy for you what can you tell me about the wheel of fortune spirit why is the wheel of fortune here wow the devil capricorn energy there's that tied up that that definitely goes with this card here the tied up energy ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so yes yeah, someone's definitely trapped or burdened and this could be you or your person like i said libra the devil is about making certain choices you're being kind of tempted drawn in by your desires by your lust you're tempted into making certain decisions but it doesn't lead to anywhere good you end up bound stuck you end up in unhealthy attachments um, because this is meant to be a lesson with the devil you're meant to learn from this mistake or this attachment that you end up in so i feel like something has happened here where one of you has ended up in a situation that's not very good and with the wheel of fortune here it's like someone's hoping that there is a way out something that works in their favor tell me about the wheel of fortune can i get one more please for the wheel of fortune i got two three okay Six of Pentacles, yes, restoring balance there. Three of Wands, kind of waiting with the Temperance card, waiting. Okay, so that's why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Sagittarius energy with Temperance. I feel like there's a bit of a waiting period here. Seven of Pentacles is all about kind of planting seeds, watching them grow, and then you're hoping for a good outcome. You're a bit nervous about how things are going to end up, how things are going to, um, like what the result will be. I feel like someone here is kind of working on getting out of this energy, but it's going to take a bit more time. Temperance is a card about making two very different things work together to arrive at some sort of harmony. So it takes time to get to that harmony. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'm curious. The moon again. Pisces energy. So someone's having doubts. I feel like maybe it's on your person's side here because they have the moon. But one of you is having a bit of doubts about where all of this is headed or how this is going to end up. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here? The Knight of Swords, communication coming in, uh, Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's hoping to like reassure the other person. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. I think communication is important because I think something's not moving quickly enough. What's this Knight of Swords about? Why is the Knight of Swords here? yep exactly the hangman something's not moving quickly enough someone is still stuck someone is figuring out a different way to approach a problem and so they're communicating this to the other person because the other person has to wait okay tell me about the four of pentacles this is about holding on to something kind of holding back what's this four of pentacles about four of cups so i feel like as someone holds on they're kind of losing a bit of interest or feeling a bit kind of like i don't know it's like a stubborn energy here nine of swords yeah so someone's afraid of letting go here even though they're not sure about the outcome of something even though it doesn't really look like things are moving quickly they're not ready quite yet to just give up on this. Maybe they're hoping that 
they get this wheel of fortune tell me about the four of pentacles the four of cups is also you're not really interested in anything else you are focused on one thing and you don't see what new things could be coming around the corner yeah this is a this is someone holding on to this partnership with the lovers gemini energy there someone's hoping that there's still enough here to get the ball rolling to to still take initiative in this connection despite the fact that things are not moving quickly and that this person's going it's like one person's telling you it's going to take a little bit longer and the other person's like okay i'll i'll wait for you because i see potential because whatever this is with the devil it's not easy to get out of it's kind of what i'm seeing here let's look at each of your energies like I said before, Libra, you're on the left side for me and your person's on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. I feel like someone's holding on to hope even though you're not together here. Tell me more about Libra and this other person, Spirit. What do we need to know about their energies? Tell me more about Libra, please. What do we need to know about Libra? Main male. So you have a masculine energy in mind. Something that you're thinking about here. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? What do we need to know about their energy this time? unexpected income so some again you know what i'm thinking there that card is not the wheel of fortune but i'm thinking of the wheel of fortune right now like an unexpected lucky break or an unexpected opportunity the lovers are at the bottom of the deck here shows up again i think it's regarding this connection it's like your person might be getting an, an opportunity here that they have to make a move on maybe that's why the chariot is there Okay, so let's clarify your energies here. Tell me about these energies between, uh, I, was, I wanted to say Pisces there, between Libra and this person. Why is the two of pentacles here? Again, I, I get the sense that Libra, you're having a bit of doubts over there with this two of pentacles. Why do we need to know about this two of pentacles? The Ten of Wands. So I feel like you're worried about the obstacle. Unsure about how this baggage burden is being dealt with, perhaps. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you are worried about if you will come together with this person after all is said and done. And others of you, I feel like there could be another person here interfering in some way. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? The Six of Wands. Yeah, you're one, you're, 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 you, if I could speak, <laughs> you see the success possible here. In your mind, this still can go somewhere special in your mind this could be successful let me see if i could move the yep in your mind this could still be successful libra like i feel like you still see the potential here and the king of swords at the bottom of the deck is making me think of this knight of swords it's like you've had conversations perhaps about this or you just have an inner knowing like you just know that you will have success with this person can I get one more for the two of Pentacles why is the two of Pentacles here 
Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So you're still, you're wondering if you're going to get this opportunity with this person. The High Priestess is here. And it's because there, there's, with the Moon, the High Priestess, there's some sort of hidden knowledge, secret knowledge. Something that's hidden from view is what I'm hearing, hidden from view. So you don't really know or see how it could happen. You just believe that it can. Tell me about the chariot. Let's jump to your person over here. Tell me about the chariot, please. Yep, there's the Wheel of Fortune again. I feel like this is an opportunity that shows up for your person. They're going to get a window of opportunity here. Yep, to make something happen with the Magician. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It is up to them to grab that opportunity and run with it because it's there for a reason. The Wheel of Fortune is kind of like an assist, right? It's, it's like a door that opens without you realizing how it opened, who opened it, but it is open now and it's up to you to walk through it. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon, please. The seven of swords. So, okay. And there's the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is connected. I feel like what's happening here is your person is needing to take advantage of something behind the scenes with the moon. Making moves behind the scenes, making moves on their end over there without really publicizing it. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, holding back here. They're holding they're holding back something regarding this move. There's the Empress. Maybe they're planning in secret. This really does feel like someone who is planning in secret because there's something that could be manifested on the other side here. The Empress is here, the Two of Cups. Yes. This has to do with your connection. Your person will get an opportunity, Pisces. To make a move that will bring you two together, I feel. There's death. Scorpio energy, two of swords, and the queen of swords. Something might have to end or change here for good for this to happen. Again, this is an opportunity. Yeah, there's the moon again. The opportunity is not something that it comes with guarantees, right? The door is opening, but you have no idea where it leads. It's going to take a little bit of a risk, but... It's going to open up for your person. It could be anything because you're all dealing with different situations. But all you need to know is that the opportunity will present itself to your person. It's up to them to take that opportunity. And it looks like the opportunity is something that they're working on behind the scenes here. For whatever reason. Tell me more about Libra. What are the energies that Libra has towards this other person? Energies, please, spirit from Libra to this other person. I'll be messaging you. So you are in contact with this person or this person will be contacting you. Tell me about this other person's energies towards Libra. What do we need to know about their energies towards Libra? I'm torn undecided unsure debating with themselves and bottom of the deck we need to talk so you're going to have a conversation about this because i feel like you're going to be possibly asking this person are you going to take that opportunity this is your chance what are you going to do with it you'll have to talk this out with this person and decide what it is that you want to do for your own connection because something will have to change the wheel of fortune it sets events in motion that cause changes, right? The Wheel of Fortune is not like an opportunity where your life remains the same, right? Like I said before, it's an assist, but it's an assist so that you can manifest, make something happen, have an opportunity that will change the course of your life, the course of the near future, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> So hopefully your person decides to take that opportunity and run with it uh, I feel like you'll be talking about that with this person. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. 
It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and that way you can stay on top of all of the new videos that come out. Don't forget to check out the description box for information on my book, my decks, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.